What is going on, lovely ladies? Welcome back to the channel. This is quite a different video from what I usually do. I want you to know throughout this channel, I do not specialize really in coming out, working with, you know, kind of the mental health, the well being, and a lot of that coming out to people. I mostly want to work on aesthetic. I'm really passionate about that route. And for one thing, I am quite young and I would not be comfortable giving coming out advice to someone who is quite a bit older than me, who has a family to look after, a spouse they're coming out to, and children they're coming out to, and employment is a whole other ball game. But I decided to go with this video mostly to people either around my age or younger who are kind of in their first couple years of coming out as transgender. The reason I wanted to make this is I have learned a lot. I am 21, I'm gonna be 22 in November, and this year was crazy. It was so eye-opening and it's one of those years where you kind of understand how certain things affected you when you were younger and a lot of that angst is still really there but you can kind of control exactly where it's needed and where you kind of have to put up with crap. So this video is why you should and do care about what others think of you because I think there is this thing in the trans community which I do not like where it is so black and white. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you, only do what you want to do. So the reason I have a big problem with this, any transgender person who will tell you they don't care about what anybody thinks of them, don't believe them. I know from experience, I definitely care what other people think of me. Here's the deal, girls. If you honestly don't care about what anybody thinks of you, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. So, do you like being misgendered in public or do you simply not mind it? Are you passionate about the bathroom bill, the bathroom issue? And on the other side of the coin, you, do you own your own property? Do you work for yourself? You're gonna know the answer to all these questions. Here's the thing about the trans stuff in here. You definitely care what people think of you because you want to present in a certain way. And you are trying to convince, and this is a lot of what my channel does, convince a lot of people that you are this gender or if you even prefer a gender. And I don't think any social movement or social change happens when people don't care about what the other people think. You are living your life, you're coming out, and you want to make sure that your identity and your existence is understood, that it is valid, well, people see it as valid. I'll be honest. I don't like being preferred in very masculine ways. I don't like being preferred by my old name. Take a guess what my old name is. It's pretty obvious. And obviously I don't like being misgendered. And I don't see that as a problem. You have to learn how to figure out how you're gonna react to these things in the long run. A lot of social change comes from shifting a lot of perspectives. There's a lot of stigma concerning various groups. It is important for us to shift perspectives on how people view us. Now let's go into kind of monetary advice. And you could argue this comes with uh, the territory of being trans as these problems and this uh, kind of stuff, this topic kind of is enhanced when uh, you come out. Here is one of the biggest reasons why you should care about what other people think of you. So a lot of the things we want in life, whether it be mandatory, a lot of things at this age when I get older, they tend to be manda mandatory and necessary. I'm talking like a house, I'm talking about a car, I'm talking about a job. Generally, a lot of those things that you need to generally be happy and secure 
You need the good opinion of other people. I'm talking about landlords, I'm talking about employers, and arguably uh, your bank. We recently got this basement apartment and it is gorgeous and I love it. I would not have been able to get this apartment if our previous landlord said bad things about us. If we trash the place, if we didn't pay our rent on time, I am relying on this person to get what I want. Same thing with employment. If you worked at some sort of job and they didn't like you, you missed a lot of shifts, you underperformed, they're gonna say that to the next employer that you're hoping to get your next favorite job from. And you likely have to cooperate with certain employers, certain supervisors that you might not like, but who have the power to make your life a living hell, who you might rely on to get a raise. If you want a raise, they must have to think of you highly. And if you're ambitious, a big shot, if you're creating your own company, you're gonna be self-employed, well, guess what? You gotta deal with customers, you gotta deal with clients, and if your clients don't like you, if your product is bad, well, say goodbye to that dream. Any YouTuber who claims they don't care what anybody thinks of them is lying because they rely on fans, they rely on people like you to support them. The publicity that is required for them to make a living. So bottom line, it does matter what a lot of people think of you because a lot of the times nobody is self-sufficient and you kind of have to worry about what some other people think in order to get what you want because understand they're the ones who have the cards and you don't. But in the sense that you shouldn't care what other people think of you, obviously this is more towards in terms of what choices you should make. You should not think through others. You should not make your choices through others and try to rely on someone else's happiness and satisfaction because trust me, I have tried it. It does not make you happy. It makes you very confused and without purpose. And I'm gonna wrap this up with, as in what all this, especially the monetary stuff, affording a place, getting a job, a lot of this is a little harder. You gotta try a little harder because not everyone is gonna like you. Um, and being transgender, even more people are not gonna like you and they're gonna have certain judgments about you. So, you gotta be likable, and being likable, you make other people happy, and you also can get what you want. So thank you so much for watching. This is just a quick video I wanted to make. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because you will not wanna miss what's coming up next. And if you do have uh, any questions or you wanna start a discussion on stuff I've talked about or brought up, please, Comment down below. Like I'm always saying, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I'll surely answer your questions. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following week. Take care.